Lobster. Hello, welcome to my channel. <laughs> uh, what happened to my face is gonna be on the vlog that probably is out before this one. <clears throat> it's pretty rough. All right, so there's a couple things we're gonna need for this bachelorette viewing. Um, if you didn't see my other video about Bachelorette, you might wanna watch that first if you care about what I have to say about Claire and the journey thus far, which would be episode one and two. If you don't care and you're just here to have a good time, then like pull out a Corona, pour yourself a glass of rose or make yourself a dirty martini. I wanna make myself a dirty martini, but I'm gonna have that later because I need to get some food in my stomach before I get crazy with the gin. So, we are gonna need some rosé right now. We're gonna need a salad for dinner. And also I just wanted to share that one of the most important things of all time just got delivered today. So uh, I'll do one of those in a bit because I'm a freaking grandma and I'm gonna fall asleep. But um, we're, gonna, we're gonna dissect tonight's episode and I thought that I would do this kind of like, uh, maybe we need a shot of tequila first. I feel like I, oh boy, this is gonna be a fun one to try and get off. Hang on, hold please. Hello, okay, you can just stare at my ceiling for a second. It smells like fucking bad decisions. I got this at Kroger for like 10 doll hairs, so I'm feeling pretty special about that. I'm gonna make myself a salad, I'll meet you guys back on the couch, and we are going to watch, I just spit, my counter, I'll clean it up later. Um, we're gonna watch The Bachelorette together and see what unfolds this episode. How many more episodes do we have to listen to Claire talk? It is entertaining, it is fun to kind of rip apart, but also like, I'm just waiting to see in Tasha what you guys see in Tasha. The avocados in Nashville suck, okay, they suck. Did my internet just freeze? Is this a fucking joke? Previously on The Bachelorette. Totally missed my own hand. Let's do this. There was a connection with him, but I'm so excited. Yeah, but I can't ask you anything. That's the only decent thing Yosef said. He made his strip down and play dodgeball naked. I thought the day was going absolutely amazing, and I said, "There's been a couple red flags that he's kind of came out to me, and you know, the first, the first thing." You know, we fast forward into the evening and basically said that, um, you know, like, you guys are here for me, okay? And you're 100% correct. We are here for you. But, like, you're here for us, too. Yeah, like, it's, it's, absolutely. It's, it's two-sided. And I've sacrificed a lot to be here. Literally the one decent thing that Yosef has said this entire time was when he basically called her out for doing the jockstrap thing he called it raunchy and he called it classless and i completely agree yosef has earned some points back from me <clears throat> he sounds like a gaslighting narcissist and i'm pretty sure he is but he's pretty spot on like i mirror his exact feelings on this i was absolutely appalled at the group date that occurred yesterday there's naked guys you know, doing, or playing dodgeball together. It's so humiliating and degrading. And I don't see how that really translates into finding a husband, like who's willing to strip down butt naked and play dodgeball. He's got a child and he was like, basically saying like, I wouldn't want my wife out there doing that sort of thing. And I totally agree with him. Yosef is a f up, but hey, he's right on that one. He's so right. He just said that shows her maturity level and character traits, and I, I totally agree. Away from being with my, my child. Honestly, I get it. My mom yeah. is dying. Yeah. Me, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, Go ahead. Let Go me ahead. continue. I'm sorry. Let me continue. There she goes trying to be like, yeah, my mom is dying, and like connect with, like, it's like a one upping game right now because she's immature as hell. Don't one up him, let him finish his sentence, story. It's whatever he's expressing, let him finish that before you like come in with your bullshit. Like she's just, this is gonna be a long video. He's being so respectful. I think of the thoughts they have 
Like, if my daughter saw me doing that, if my family saw me doing that, mm -hmm. like, think of the thought that they would have. Think of, think of, mm -hmm. think of the example that would be setting. That's why you were not on that date. Well, I'm glad I wasn't. I'm glad I wasn't. Yeah. I'm seriously glad I wasn't. I was so... I'm sorry, what was why he wasn't on the date? Because he doesn't agree with you? And you just happened to clairvoyantly know that? I can't stand this She's so stupid. I can't... I want to smack her in the face. Slap, slap, slap you. <laughs> that was ridiculous. She literally just cried and said, the only thing I ever want is a man like Dale who come over and protect me. Protect you from what? Someone that's telling you the truth? Someone that's telling you how they genuinely feel in a, in a respectful way? Yosef, until he kind of like kept repeating himself and then he kind of like said some mean stuff about our age and stuff, that's not okay. But she was reactive before he even went there, which is why he went there, which doesn't make it okay. But he was respectfully explaining to her that he thought what she did was classless and there's really no other way to hash it. Like what, how else do you want him to explain that? And so she got defensive, started interrupting him right from the get go, trying to like one up him and while my, my mom is dying or whatever she said, relationships need love, respect and great communication. And she's already showing that if you don't agree with her, then she's gonna kick your ass out. She's, she's, she's complaining about the way that he is speaking to her and literally the way that he was speaking to her before she even started getting upset was fine. Everything that he said to her is legitimate that he would want some sort of a different role model for Rashad who was very calm about it and respectful and she didn't like what he had to say. So this lady is going to like literally be alone forever unless she figures out that you need to be able to take on um, criticism in a way that you can look at it and be like, okay, I, you've got to see things from other people's perspectives perspectives, or you're literally going to be single forever. Like this is bullshit. Like her acting like the victim in this situation is ridiculous. She flew off the handle. He said some mean stuff, but she started it. Everything he said to her was true and those were his feelings and he said them respectfully and she didn't like it. So she turned it on him and started pointing her finger at him like this. No, stop. Do not stop me. Don't, I listened to you not this not entire time. Me. You are done. Let me tell you something. The way you're talking to me right now, never in a million years. Claire. Listen to me. Claire. Listen. You don't do that. Hashtag classless Claire Crawley. That is the new hashtag. Hashtag classless Claire Crawley. Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> yeah, that was wrong. You can't disrespect a female like that. Yeah, that's not smart. Disrespect. I don't know. You all didn't hear the whole conversation. Shut up. Also, got my little keyboard out to respond to you so I can do three things at once, four things at once. Drink wine, watch this, film this, and respond to you guys. Who the fuck is Joe? Oh, my man Easy is staying in. Heck yeah. Has anyone ever said no when they've asked if you would accept this rose? Because that would be absolutely hilarious. Like, actually, no, nah, I'm good. Everything I saw earlier, yeah, f you, goodbye. <laughs> f you very much. F you, f you, you're cool, f you, I'm out. Dude, I get so into this show. Like, I love it. I can't wait for uh, Bachelor in Paradise so I can rip that apart, too. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is sitting here saying Yosef got exposed. Exposed? Now he's getting penalized for sharing his opinion in a in a nice way. When I say that, I mean before he like before he was reactive to her reactiveness. Come on. She's playing favorites so hard, like she's not even trying to hide it. Classless. Hashtag classless Claire Crawley. Now she's smelling Dale's pants and smothering her face with Dale's pants? Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> oh boy. Quality time, but you canceled the day portion and only one of the night portion, so do you really care about quality time or what? Dale wants to go speak with her first before anyone else. 
because he deserves that for some reason, right? Oh, she's taking him to her apartment. Claire and I have a special connection. I'm not ashamed or afraid of taking that initial step. This is my dining room. Okay. I'm done. They're sitting on her bed already. Okay, you already know that these two have slept together. Like, why else would they be sitting on her bed? Like, you're perfect. No, you're perfect. Why are you so perfect? I'm not perfect. I feel like you're so perfect. I'm not perfect. You are. You're perfect. No. Easy's so knocking on the door and they're in there just like crotching each other. Welcome to my house. I let everyone come in. Just kidding. Just Dale. Oh, hey. Welcome to my house. Is this really? Yeah. Dale's in here. I just had a conversation about Having a conversation with our crotches like this. Yeah, she's having a conversation about Talking. Chris. Yeah. A lot of you were like, this is better than Peter's season at least, but Peter's season was awful. Peter and her should like, hook up. Dale came back, smiled. Dale just said he tried to walk out. You had this honor called in the beginning. What a liar! Y'all are meant for each other. I, I, I was trying to like walk out, like, like leave a little bit early, like. <laughs> she's so phony. I can't deal. I can't deal with the phoniness. Why didn't she say anything else more about the other men? Everyone is just like, honestly, this, like y'all are dating and we're just here as like fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth wheels. Like, your guys' DMs are cracking me up though. I absolutely like, I feel so alone on Instagram until I start to read your DMs and I'm like, oh, hey, <laughs> my fam is here, I got it. She's like having a pedicure with this guy and she's literally like, I wish this was Dale right now. She is literally like stage 10 clinger obsessed with Dale. The fact that she doesn't realize how obsessed she is to reel it in a little bit for national television is, is a big red flag in itself. She just leaned away from this guy in the pool so awkwardly and he's coming after the kiss. I was trying to kiss you and she's like, no, let's just hurry for dinner. So awkward. She's sending him home and she couldn't even do it herself. She sent Chris to do it because she couldn't send him home for making her feel awkward about coming for a kiss. This is so ridiculous. She couldn't even come out herself to tell him that made me feel uncomfortable. I'm sending you home. She had to send Chris out to do it. Her communication is just like so crap. What makes a good joke is when you can deliver it without hurting someone's feelings is what Claire said, which is really ironic because you know what makes a good relationship? When you can deliver your thoughts and feelings without the other person getting hurt and being defensive as hell. Or telling you something, I don't know. Like you don't know why ever, everyone has it out against you and Dale? Like you haven't figured that out? Like you're so involved in yourself that you haven't realized how much you've been talking about Dale and picking Dale and like putting Dale first in front of everyone else? She's so immature and so unaware. Why also give Dale the rose in these situations if you know you're gonna pick him at the ceremony anyway? Like give it to someone else. This was $30 at Costco. It was a good buy. I love pine nuts. Tasha's popping out of the water. This episode, I feel like I pretty much already laid it all out there. I'm not gonna rehash it. I already said it. She is so ridiculous and I'm just so disappointed in her in general. Like someone that's 39, I felt like would have done this a lot better. She's still a human, I get it, but there are a lot of mistakes here and there are a lot of things she should have done differently in my opinion. This was like the worst bachelorette or bachelor I think I've ever seen. Granted, I didn't start watching it until I think Rebecca Kufrin, if I'm saying that right, was the first person I ever watched on Bachelorette.
She's horrible. She's emotionally unstable. Amongst many, many other issues that I've called out. I don't know where she lives or what she's doing today, but I bet you Dale already left her. I'm just gonna say that because I'll see you guys in the next video, but I'll also see you guys again for next week's episode with my commentary that really doesn't matter and no one really cares about. So <laughs> see you in the next video. Bye guys.